Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of Dota 2 k 20 news, where today we're going to be covering some of the recent entrance videos, the changes they reveal, younger legend models and whether or not the game running in 4K is actually a good thing. So let's talk WWE 2K20, as 2K started out the week with the reveal of Stone Cold Steve Austin's entrance, which once again reignited the argument of whether or not this year's graphics have been downgraded. Now the lighting itself is still proven to be a big talking point, as comparison videos clearly show the lack of detailing, with a lot of people complain that it makes the 2K20 models look plastic, reminiscent of some of the games on last gen. Now, while I wouldn't say that the models look anywhere near as downgraded as the last gen models, I do get where people are coming from, as the comparison shots of Austin's model really do show the lack of detail, however I don't think that's just down to the lighting, as comparing the models, 2K20's version looks to be a classic version of Stone Cold, as you can clearly see that its muscles are a lot more defined, whereas the 2K19 version looked a lot more like the current day version of Austin, hence the wrinkles and the weight gain. If this is the case, then this would explain why 2K20's version lacks the visible wrinkles seen on the 2K19 model, as the new version definitely does look a lot younger, which could be a good indication of what to expect for other superstars. Now, it's long been a complaint from the community that the legends don't look like they did back in the day, as rather than create younger models, we've instead had 2K use current face scans and then slap on classic attires and hairstyles, which has led to some really odd looking models like the Attitude Era version of Kurt Angle, which was just his current model with hair and then an alternate singlet. So whilst the lighting is definitely a lot brighter and it does take away some of the detailing, my hope, at least in regards to Austin's model, is that the lack of wrinkles in the age and skin is a sign that we'll be getting some updated legends that look more like they did back in the day rather than how they do now. So that covers the lighting, but staying with Austin's entrance, there's also a few other bits that I want to point out, as firstly, this shot here gives us our first look at Greg Hamilton, as all the previous entrance videos seen him out of shot, whereas here we get a good glimpse of him sitting ringside. As the camera switches to this far out shot, you can also see the timekeeper once again sitting behind the barrier with the ring bell, again confirming that we won't be able to use the bell as a weapon, despite its properties and sound effects already being in the game. Finally, switching over to this shot, you can see that the arena's electronic boards have been updated, as we now have the addition of the Snickers branding, which will be shown in the Raw arena, similar to how the Truth logo was featured in the SmackDown arena a few years back. Alongside the Snickers board, we've also got an update to the visual concepts board, as this has changed from red with white text to white with red text, which is only a small change, however it does reveal that this is a newer build of the game to the one that we've seen in previous footage, therefore the lighting, the crowd shirts, etc, everything in this video will likely be the same as we'll see in the final version. Now on the note of the final version, one thing that I'm hoping gets fixed, or at least patched on day one, is the stuttering, as this year the game will officially support running at 4K resolution for the first time, however when you take a look at some of the entrance videos that have been released, especially those that are available in 4K, then you'll notice that there appears to be various frame drops occurring that causes the game to briefly pause, which is something that you can see here as Austin gets down from the turnbuckle. Now the cause of this could be down to the game struggling to run at 4K, as this is an old engine at the end of the day, however the most the worrying thing here is that the frame drops are occurring during a single superstar's entrance, which begs the question, how well will a game run at 4K when there's more people on screen in the likes of the Money in the Bank ladder match or Royal Rumble, where there's up to 8 people on screen at once? Now there is a chance that these pauses and the drop frames aren't a problem with the game at all, and that they're instead caused by recording and rendering the footage at a high resolution, however you'd imagine that a company as big as 2K would have this covered, especially when you consider all the NBA videos they've put out, as this wasn't a problem that cropped up there. If there is a problem with the game trying to run at 4K, then this could be one of the reasons that we've yet to see any proper gameplay, as 2K could be taking as much time as possible to iron out those problems, and the apparent downgrade and detailing that we talked about could well have been done to try and free up resources and in turn improve performance. At the end of the day, I can sit here and speculate for hours about just how well or how bad the game will run, but we won't know for definite until 2K releases some actual gameplay, which is why I think the sooner this comes the better, as the longer that they hold back from fully showing off the game, then the more you're going to have people worrying about it and the reasons behind it, especially when there's only a month left until the game releases. So there you go, that's my current thoughts and concerns, hopefully the drop frames are down to video encoding rather than the game itself, and 2K release some actual gameplay to show that. Until then though, let me know what you think of what we've seen so far, are you worried about the drop frames and do you think the graphics have been downgraded in favour of running at 4K? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you haven't already then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all the latest WWE 2K20 news. Until next time though, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.